we got another uh, trending video here um, that we came across that I thought was very interesting on on this dialogue between this man and woman um, on a certain podcast. Let's take a look and watch this clip real quick, and, and, and I'll get your reaction to that after. All right. Y'all okay. both done been ran through. Y'all both done had kids. Y'all both is old as shit. Like, oh, well, let's talk uh, about it. A man can't be ran through. A man is always ran through. A man, a man runs got through. Dick. No, a man That's runs ran through. through. No, he can't a man be ran runs through. through. He, what, what a woman allows it's him to It's not even through. logically possible. That's a nonsensical argument. Okay. So, do you have a penis to put inside someone? No, I do. I, do. I can run through all of you. Exactly. <laughs> All right, so I'll pause that real quick. So basically, the argument is on this little short clip that uh, getting run through only applies to one gender. Um, she mentioned that men are also getting ran through and their body counts are too high is what she's talking about. And he stopped her and said, look, it's not possible for a man to be ran through. A man is the one that runs through. Only a woman could be run through. How do we feel about that? You think it's equal where uh, both body counts, you can call people ran through, whether they're man or woman? Men and women are not the same. And it will, and and women can keep fighting this, and you gonna, you gonna lose this war, y'all. Listen, all I see is women taking L's in America. You're not winning. I see a lot of single mothers out here struggling with two, three different baby daddies. I meet these women all the time in the clubs, and and I'm not interested in you. I'm sorry. Nobody want to be a stepdad to your broke ass child, who's a bastard. Nobody wants you, right? So you don't deserve a second chance or a third chance or a fourth chance. Fuck no. If you, if you, and I, I'm tired of meeting women that think because they, they, okay, you know what? Now I don't want to have sex now. I want to, I want to hold myself until I find my husband. What? You got 35 bodies. You want to now slow down? They want to have their cake and eat it too. Oh, you got three kids. I don't think I want to give you my body because I'm waiting for the right man. Shorty, you You're got stupid. three baby fathers. Your time is up. Oh, they truly believe they special. They get a second, third, fourth chance. They got cat lives, right? So the issue is this. Men have to go through women, right? We got to go through the bad bunch of sleeping around so we can get our status, so we can satisfy a woman enough so she doesn't leave us. How many women are with men right now that have everything that she wants, but sexually he doesn't satisfy her? And she cheating on him right now. She cheating on him. Y'all have friends, you know, mothers, sisters, aunties that's doing this right now. Or your homegirl, your best friend is cheating on her husband right now because he sucks in the bedroom. He had achieved everything else, but he, one thing he didn't achieve was to fuck around and have sex with women because he only slept maybe with one or two women in his lifetime. And he married a woman who's fucked 35 men. Bruh. It's never going to work. She's been conquered. She's been destroyed. Hello, your computer has virus. It will never work because all the bodies that she gave to them worthless bums, them, them, those, those weak ass men, Beta bear. she lost a little bit of energy every time. He took something from her until he stripped her for all her, her, pow her power, her energy. Right? So you can't happily satisfy her. So she's going to constantly keep cheating and she's cheating right now. And guess what? You guys stay in these relationships because you're weak because this is the only woman you ever loved. Beta bear. And they are beautiful. They, these, some of these women are gorgeous. I'm, I've seen them all in the, from the DR, Puerto Rico, uh, Italy, uh, Not the, the one. Canada, Montreal. Uh, you mean, I, I see them. Miami, Chicago, San Diego. What's up, bitch? What's good? Chicago, New York, L.A., I know I, when you when you in my position where we travel, right, we travel because the show's winding down. I got five minutes left on this. When you in a position where you travel and you get to go to Miami, you go to Vegas, you get to go to cities, you get to go out of the country and you get to meet women. Right. Because you in the entertainment, you meet women who hate their lives. They are married or they divorce and they want to get out and have fun. They gave their body to a man who was a loser. And they gave five, six, seven years into something. And they was loyal to a man who was weak. And he He's was abusive. Stupid. Right? It's a lot of weak bums out here. So what happens is now she's like, it's about me. I'm about to have fun. But the issue is, instead of looking for the right value man, you give your body out to a whole bunch of men who's, who's weak. 
and they destroy you. Why you do that? You think you're doing something smart, but what I'm telling you is it's destroying you. And then, gotcha, bitch. and then you 30 some years old seeking for a husband and they don't exist. You constantly keep getting a weaker sex and you wonder why. Because stop it. Get some help. A man of status or value, he smells a whore. He smells a 304. Belongs to the streets. We're not stupid. Women truly think we don't know what your body count is. They truly think we don't know. A man knows. I think to clarify, the, the range is what it is. So some people are going to come and say, oh, you don't know. It might be a 33. I might be at 17. I might be. Men know. If, you, if you're between like, if you're 15 and up or 50 and up, that's what we mean. Men knows. I don't care what any woman says. A high tier, top tier man who's built something for himself, who understands the foundation and how to build it from the ground up. He understands the value of a woman. Trust me, those women are rare too. America, the world's taking over the world. Women are becoming more fucking sluts and hoes than they ever been before. That's the issue, right? So a man must be very careful. You don't want to get with a woman who's going to destroy everything you work for. It'd be stupid, right? Think about it. Your legacy, women are taking your legacy within two, three years, something you took 20 years to build. Fuck that. I'm not going to be um, John Majors. It's never going to happen to me. Ain't nobody got time for And that. I encourage all men to learn from John Majors. His career is over. And he may never come back. I don't, I, don't, I don't think you can survive shit like this. This is why you must be very careful in the women you choose and you select that comes into your world. Bro, you could have been worth $100 million to a billionaire. <laughs> you are a very talented actor. And I'm looking at John Majors right now. I'm, I'm talking to you right now, bro. You could have been bigger than Denzel Washington, but you let these women win. Your fall from everything you built is because of a woman. You are a weak man because of it. And I don't care what woman you entertain or you try to get with. It's not going to save your career. And you can't go back to a black woman and think she's going to survive and, and keep your career float. Bro, we're not stupid. You better hope Tyler Perry or 50 Cent give you an opportunity. I hope 50 gets you an opportunity. 50 smart. Maybe it worked for you. Maybe it doesn't. But I would tell you right now, just watching this short that we just watched. Yeah, seven, seven, men and minutes, women are both equal on getting ran through. It's not the same. Men run through is what he's saying. Yeah. They don't get ran we, through. Of course, unless you live in Atlanta or you live in some city that's highly gay, like San Francisco, then it's a possibility. Why but are you gay? We're not talking about those type of men, right? Those men don't sit at our table. So we can't speak of those men. So if she's talking about guys she's fucking with that's gay and she goes both ways. No, nah, she, was, she was talking uh, about Because uh, some women, some women, y'all, y'all, y'all end up where you fucking with a guy who's fucking with a guy. <laughs> and it's just dangerous. Yeah. Those, those type of women I feel bad for. Right, the women who getting cheated on or getting played by another man and thinking it's a woman, but it turns out to be a man. You, oh, but y'all women are winning. Y'all, y'all making good decisions on the men. Y'all, y'all fucking with y'all. Y'all like uh, 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 Jada Pinkett, <laughs> right? You stupid. Sleeping with gay men and then going back to her husband. Bruh. Like, come on, that's that's the kind of shit y'all like. Y'all like women who sleep with gay men, right? I think he's a tranny or something. I don't know what he is. I don't know. August Alcina, yeah. No, I, I don't know what he I is. I think he's a real... I think he's... he's is he a real he's man? Just, he identifies as an actual man. It's just, so he identifies a man? I'm pretty sure. Okay. But... But your wife sleeps with a man like that, and then she goes back into bed with you. And you accept that. That was the kind of women that these men have to accept. Coronavirus! And you were 400 million... You were 400 million... 600 million... And you let a woman disrespect you like that's crazy. But listen, guys, this is the end of our show. I, I would just say this. It's not the same. I, I hope women find a peace and a kings. That's what I want. I want you women to win. And we got women followers. We got a lot. We starting to see the women come in. I just want you women to win. Find your husband. I don't care if you're 20, 25, 30, 35. At least 20, 25. Try to find your husband. Stop listening to everybody else. Start now. Have babies. Find a man that you can build with. So you could be in a LeBron James position. That's it.
Thank you for watching the Cash Money Dreams podcast. Like and subscribe. Follow us on every platform. Stay tuned. Every week we drop in a new episode. It's your boy Cash, man.